Anarchists tend to share a common ideological pillar of faith with conservatives and liberals alike. Freedom, yet this cornerstone of Western philosophy, actually marks a perimeter of discourse that can exclude many non-European peoples, especially those that have not studied Hobbes, Locke, Rousseau, or Mill. Prior to contact with Europe, most languages never had a word for freedom, even while many of those societies thrived without slavery, prisons, police, or state. Instead, they tended to emphasize responsibilities to the larger community, as well as obligations to ancestors, spirits, animals, and nature. Even in ancient China, in a society that permitted enslavement, they did not use the word free to describe someone no longer enslaved. What did they call them? Respectable. The term respectable, like free, seems to divert attention away from the violence of enslavement, away from justice, as demanded by the recently unenslaved. Subsequently, societies based on freedom share a common legacy in colonialism, empire, and domination over others. No people aim to live under bondage, but all people need healthy bonds. We can have that conversation more clearly, perhaps, by using language inherent to most cultures. We can talk in terms of justice, fairness, ability, opportunity, violence, power, responsibility, necessity, creativity, equality, and compensation. For centuries, anarchists have celebrated freedom without questioning its colonialist assumptions and connotations. Questioning freedom may help shift emphasis from fighting laws and governments and toward practical contributions and commitments to healthy connections and community here and now. <laughs> <laughs>